Hello, love. Ever since Captain Jack Sparrow was a little pirate, he's always been interested in fossils and dinosaurs and things like that. Well, let's talk about carbon-14 dating, which is an important part of studying those old, old um, things like that. So we have a fossilized leaf that contains 38% of its normal amount of carbon-14, and we want to know how old the fossil is, and we're going to use 5600 as the half-life of carbon-14. And remember, the way that this works is, things alive have carbon-14 in them, and when they die, the carbon-14 starts to return to its state of carbon-12. It uses neutrons. You didn't think Captain Jack Sparrow knew that, but he learned it at pirate school. Okay, every pirate needs to know about radioactive decay. Since this is radioactive decay, I will use APERT. Now, traditionally, people use other letters for this, but I like using APERT because then I just have one formula to memorize. And really, the only difference is in what you call the letters. So use APERT if you like, love. We're pirates. We can do that if we want. We're outlaws, so we're going to do that. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is find the rate. If I know I had P amount to start with, and I end with one half of that at the half-life, R I don't know, and T is 5,600 years, love. So I divide, I get one half P, or one half E equals, no, I get one half equals E to the R times 5,600. And then I take the natural logarithm of both sides, love. And those cancel, and I get ln one half equals r to the 5600, love. And I divide by 5600. Remember the key to all these problems, love. Divide, ln, divide. So now I take my handy calculator, which is much younger than 5600 years old, and I do ln, and you can do 0.5 if you'd like and then divide by 5600 and you get a negative number which is what you'd expect for radioactive decay so the number that I get is negative point zero 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 one two three seven seven six and that is my rate of decay now that I know the rate of decay I can find the time that it takes for the fossilized leaf to contain the amount of um, carbon-14 that it would contain if it waited until the time it needed to wait to contain the time of car the amount of carbon-14 with which it wanted to have. Um, yes. Okay, anyways, I take my final amount of carbon-14 and my initial amount of carbon-14 and I plug in the rate to this formula. So I'm using APERT again. And I don't know how much I started with, so I put P but however much I started with, at the end, when I look at this, I have 0.38p, 38% of the original amount. R is negative 0.000123, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to chop it off right there, but I'm going to keep it in my calculator, times t. And then just like the problem before, the part before, we do divide. And I get 0.38. And here I just have an e to the negative 0.000123 times t. And then ln, and if I take the ln of e, that just cancels. So I'm going to skip writing it this time. You don't have to write it once you know the process that well. And then divide again, and I get negative 0.000123t. And here, negative 0.000123. Oh, except they don't want the T down there. That would be rather rude to divide by both. Um, and I don't want a T there, obviously. I want a 3 there. So I divide those things. And when I do that, I'll get T equal to something. And my calculator will help me determine what. So I have ln 0.38. And I close my parentheses because you don't want to keep parentheses open. That's very rude and nasty. Um, and then divide by 
negative point zero 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 one. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I just want to paste it in. It's better that way. It's much more accurate. In a second, I was doing something very naughty, even for a pirate. So I scroll up and I hit enter, and I hit enter again. I pasted it in, and I got seven thousand. I got seven thousand eight hundred and seventeen twenty two. And I guess they said round it to the nearest year. So even though it's 22, well, they said nearest year. I still want to round it up to make sure that I really have that amount. But it's up to you. If they say nearest year, I guess I would probably round it down like they said. But I rounded, no, I did round it down. I said I was going to round it up, and I rounded it down. Captain Jack's not having a good day today, as you can tell. It's laundry day, and things just aren't going his way. He's hungry. He's ready to go to Ponderosa, that's the pirate place to eat, and he's stuck aboard the Black Pearl. Um, but maybe he'll go to Ponderosa, and after he's done eating, come back and help you some more.